Hello geometry students, Mr. Zazik back and better than ever we are in Regents Review 7. We're going to look at the area of a sector and the arc length. So what happens is when you have a circle we're looking at the area of the sector and so what happens is it's a fraction of the total area. So here's the proportion that you can set up to help you solve this. It's always the central angle over all the way around a circle in degrees, which would be 360, equals the area of the sector divided by the total area of a circle, and that would be pi r squared. So a couple formulas to keep in mind with a circle. If we're talking about length, we're going to use circumference, which is d pi, or area, which is pi r squared. Both of those are on the formula sheet. Um, a lot of people remember them. So there's two types of questions, and these are reflected. One, we need to find the central angle. The other, we need to find the area of the sector. In number one, this question is asking us to find the central angle of a circle with a diameter of 16. So if the diameter is 16, that means the radius is 8, and the area of the circle, which is pi times 8 squared, the area of the circle would be 64 pi. So if I'm going to plug it into this, find the central angle, I'll call that x, divided by 360 equals, that forms a sector with an area, so we got 30 pi over 64 pi. Now, as we look at this, now we need to use our cross product property to solve. Some of you might notice that we can, one of the ways we can make our work a little easier is those pi's will cancel each other out. So it'll just be 64x equals 360 times 30, which is uh, 10,800. And we divide that by 64. And we get um, 675 divided by 4. Let me uh, just get that as a decimal. So this is 168.75 degrees, all right? So that would be our central angle that forms that, um, that area. And question two is the other way. This is find the area of the sector to the nearest tenth, and the, the sector would be the shaded region. So in this case, we know that our radius is 12, so the area of the circle would be pi times 12 squared, which would be 144 pi. So here's our proportion. Central angle, 210 over 360, equals area of the sector, that's our unknown, over 144 pi. So we get 360x cross product property, 210 times 144 is 30,240 pi. We'll just add the pi on. Sometimes they ask this for in terms of pi. Um, when you're putting this in the calculator, one thing to keep in mind is get your fraction template set up here first because uh, you need the pi to be in the numerator. So this would be 263.9 to the nearest tenth would be the area of that sector. All right, so area of the sector, uh, pretty popular question. Arc length could be asked. It's not as popular, but it takes kind of the same idea here. And I'm, we're going to do five and six separately because they're slightly different. So in five, it says find the, the length of arc EF. So one of the things we need to remember is that when we're given two letters, we want to assume that it's the minor arc. So the first thing we need to do is find that central angle. So that would be 360 minus 240, which would be 80 degrees. So this angle here would be 80 degrees. That arc would be 80 degrees. The degrees is not the length. So it's the central angle divided by 360 equals um, the length, the arc length, divided by all the way around the circle, which is the circumference. That's the perimeter of a circle, d pi. Okay, so in our circle, we have the radius of 13. That means the diameter is 26. That means the circumference is 26 pi. 
So we would do 80 over 360 equals, um, you know, the measure of arc EF. We could do it that way, or we could just do, um, you know, call it X or something, X over 26 pi. And we cross multiply 360X equals 80 times uh, 26 would be 2080 pi. Uh, 2080 divided by 360 is 52. If this said leave it in terms of pi, it'd be 52 pi over 9. Okay. All right. The last one has a special formula, and that happens when the central angle is in radians. All right. So there's a special formula, and it's uh, S equals our theta. At review class, somebody said, do you have a song for that? And so I just came up with S equals our theta, S equals our theta. When the angle is in radians, S equals our theta, S equals our theta. All right, so what does all those mean? S is the arc length, R is the radius, and theta is the central angle in radians. So find the central angle in radians that intercepts an arc of 24 pi, so that would be 24 pi, has a radius of 10, and we're going to find theta. So we would simply divide by 10, 2.4 pi is the central angle. And it's as simple as that when you know the formula, S equals a theta. S equals a theta. When the central angle is in radians, we use S equals a theta. S equals a theta. All right, again, the priority is on area of the sector. That's the more commonly asked one, um, but arc length is one that could be as well. All right, I'll see you back here soon.